What's up guys, King Sauerkraut here. We have a special video here. We are joining the rest of the world and we are opening a case of Double Masters VIP edition. This is our sealed case here and this is what we're doing today. This has been hanging out on my table here for the last couple days. I've been uh, waiting for my daughter to come over and she's gonna give us a hand here doing this. So we're gonna bust this bad boy open. Let's make sure we got <clears throat> All of our boxes here and nobody's trying to rip us off All right, so there we go. We got our four boxes inside We don't have to worry about any nonsense any any vendors trying to cheat us <clears throat> This is our sealed case from wizards All right, so we got number one Number two, number three, and number four. There they all are. All right, so we are not going to take too long here. <clears throat> I'm going to start doing the first one, and my uh, my little counterpart is going to do the other half. I'm sure you can notice the difference in my hands, and you're going to see the difference in her hands. My hands are much larger. So we're going to see who gets the better pulls here, and we're going to see who ends up opening us up some more value, and then we're going to kind of determine who gets to open the rest of the packs. So we get to have our own little competition here because she tries to tell me that she thinks she's good luck, but I beg to differ. All right, so there we go. There are boxes number one through four. So let's bust these bad boys open. This packaging for this product is absolutely beautiful. So all you have is a one little flap here at the top. Unfortunately, these boxes do get destroyed when you open them. There isn't any saving you can do, anything else you can do about the packaging. So there is our first set. Ooh, a nice little Frogify. If our cellophane wants to open. And Angel Token. All right, so. Tokens are not important. Those can go to the side. We're going to go through our commons here real quick on top. Nobody cares about the commons. Urza's Power Plant. I am a Tron player, so I'm going to be getting some nice foils for my set here. I'm going to be going from probably OG Tron to Foil Tron. All right, uncommons. Spring Lake Drum, Buried Ruin, uh, Banshee, and looks like our first rare here is going to be a Lux Cannon. Not the most exciting in the world. And an Avenger. First box topper, Urza's Tower. Second box topper, Sword of Feast and Famine. That is a good one. Last I checked, these were somewhere in around the uh, the eighty dollar range. So that is a good start. We uh, got our money here for our first pack. Our basics. We have two foil basics, an island in a swamp. So that is a nice little pack one. Start with number two here. Worm tokens. I'm glad to see those worm tokens are coming back. Those actually used to be expensive when they first came out. The uh, getting some nice getting some nice foils to go along with it never hurt anybody. All right, so there's the tokens. We'll get them to the side. All right, let's get through these commons. First uncommon is a Buried Rune. Got a Sphinx. Dark Steel Citadel. Too bad Affinity is no longer good. Glass Dust Hulk. 
first rare is an Awakening Zone. That one there is for you uh, Commander players and Cube players. Next rare, Mirror Battle Sphere. First box topper, Cyclonic Rift. Again, that's another decent one. That is a Commander All-Star. Followed up by, by a Cali of the Vast. So that is Mythic number two. Again, another big boy for you Commander players out there. Let's see what these foil basics are. Foil Forest. That's one of the ones that I want. We're going to be getting four or five of those sticking in our Tron deck. All right. So those are two good first packs there. Kali is not worth quite as much as the uh, the sword, but still not bad. You're never going to complain about hitting a mythic. All right, so what do we got here? Alabaster Mage. And a golden token. Alright, commons. Team about team or battle rage is a good one. Not really worth a whole lot, but for my uh, for my death shadow deck, those will fit right in there. First uncommon, Riddle Smith. Valorous Stance. Those Basalt Monoliths are beautiful. Dismantle. Alright, our first rare here is going to be a Mystic Gate. Number two, Walking Ballista. That is a nice one as well. First Box Topper, Academy Ruins. And number two, Toxic Deluge. Toxic Deluge is a nice one. It's not a mythic, but that is a valuable rare. All right, what's our basics? Mountain in a forest. All right, box number, pack number four here out of the first box. I've been kind of watching some of these prices here of these sets over the last couple of days since the release, and people are going absolutely bananas for this set. The box toppers have been flying off the shelves, the rares, the foil rares, everything I've seen so far. These cards have been highly, highly sought after. People are going out of their way to buy them. And it's amazing because they were, for all the people that were complaining about the price point of the set when it first came out, people are absolutely eating it up. So I feel like this is going to be in our future for a long time and Wizard is going to be continuing to push this type of product. So this is only the beginning. A shapeshifter kind of looks like a smurf all right commons the raven inspector lightning axe okay our uncommons disciple of bolas veteran explorer thopter foundry that is a cool one Dread Return. And our rares. First rare, Magus of the Will. That one's not very exciting. Ooh! This isn't a box topper, but this is a Force of Will foil. That is gorgeous. You're talking that's the best rare, best mythic in the set that you can get, and it's foil. We're not going to be quite at the uh, the $400 box topper range, but this one, I'm going to say you're probably at $150 or $200. That is one of the best cards you can find here. First box topper. Crop rotation. Now that one's a stinker, but I guess we got we can't have all the money in one pack, so we'll we'll take the force of will and have to eat the crop rotation here. Second box topper, Blightsteel Colossus. That was heck of a pack there. So between the foil force of the will and the Blightsteel Colossus, absolutely no complaints. We will take those packs every day of the week. That one's like winning a lottery ticket there. And we got our foil forest. All right, so. 
Box number one out of four. That was a pretty darn good start with the Force of Will, the Cali of the Vast, Sword of Feast and Famine, and a Blightsteel Colossus. We have four Mythics in our first four packs. We're going to do a little switcheroo here. We're going to let my uh, counterpart take care of the other box, and we're going to do a quick swap here. Why don't you go ahead, open up the next box. Please don't put it on top of the cards. Alright, let's bust it open here without losing too much on the floor. Hey, as long as that top row as long as that top row of cards is safe, that's the important part. Here we go. What's that top card there? What, let me see what those look like. Relic Runner, okay. All right, so we're opening the plastic. We got a, a plant token. All right, let's move those to the side. We don't need those. Let's go through our commons. Revoke Existence, Sift. Urza's Tower, we'll take an Urza's Tower. Expedition map, we could use that one. All right, let's put those to the side. First uncommon is a Manamorphos. Oriok Salvagers for you legacy players. Combo off with Lion's Eye Diamonds. Ash Barons, Pauper All-Star. Uh, okay. Another Basalt Monolith. All right, and our first rare is a Thrag Tusk. Second rare, Baleful Strix. And our first topper is a Thoughtseize. Not a Mythic, but that is a good one. That's a nice $40 bill. And a Sword of Fire and Ice. That is a big boy. Sword of Fire and Ice, we'll put in that top row there. The other ones we'll put to the side. Put the Thoughtseize down there and the Basics to the side. And we will go to... Pack number two. All right, so what else are we looking here for? We're looking for the uh, <clears throat> the Foil Showcase, Force of Wills, Foil Showcase, Mana Crypts. Those are your two big boys in the set. You're also followed by the Avacyn, the Avacyn Angel, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Those are your top four cards that you're currently looking for in the set. I mean, we already got one Force of Will. We're not going to get too greedy here, but we're not going to object if we find a second one. Metallic Rebuke. Brainstorm. Another Expedition Map. Fatal Push. That's our first uncommon, so let's put those to the side. Fix that pile, please, so they don't fall all over the place. All right. So Fatal Push. Hinder. That's an old one. Path to Exile, Lightning Greaves, and our first rare, Grim Lavamancer, second rare, ooh, that's a doubling season, that's another mythic, that's a good foil mythic, let's put that bad boy up top, and another box topper Thoughtseize, again, that is a good one, 
and a Karn Liberated. This is the new alternate art foil Karns. Those are very interesting. Some people love them, some people hate them, but that one also goes on top. That is another Mythic, and that is a very good pack. Karn, Thoughtseize, and Doubling Season. That is the equivalent of opening a lottery ticket and winning. All right, so we are going to box number two here. Pack number two. Earthquake, earthquake, someone bumped the camera. And our tokens, a mirror and an angel. Nothing special here coming and doing in these commons. Oh, let's put those to the side. That's the last of those. Uncommons. Ravenous Intruder. Buried Ruin. Valorous Stance. Brimstone Volley. All right, let's put those to the side. Our first rare, Cascade Bluffs. And a Glimmer Void. First box topper, Cyclonic Rift. And I see what's peeking behind it. That's a force of will. That's another big boy. That's our top of the line. That's what we're looking for. There's your $400 bill. Cyclonic Rift. That one can go to the other side there. That one's nothing compared to the force of will. Let's uh, put those lands to the side, and we're going to move on to the next box here. All right. So we are currently seven packs in, seven packs and two force of wills. Let's keep this train rolling. Squirrels, starting with the squirrels. Parasitic tricks for you legacy combo players. Ancient stirrings. All right, put those commons to the side. Start the uncommons. Is a charm. Skull Muncher, Banshee, and our first rare. Let's drop those. We start with the Braids, and our other rare is a High Market. First box topper, Cyclonic Rift. That's, what is that? Is that our third Cyclonic Rift already? Let's double check here. One, two, that is Cyclonic Rift number three. And another Sword of Feast and Famine. That is a the best sword that you can open between that and the Sword of Fire and Ice. So we have three very good swords here to start these boxes. All right, and let's put those lands to the side. All right, so we are currently halfway through this case, and we have what looks like it could be shaping up to be an all-star case. I mean, we have two foil Force of Wills. We have three foil swords and a doubling season, and a Karn. So we are absolutely killing it so far here. So let's open up this next box. It's kind of hard to say. I mean, we're both opening, we have both opened up some nice value here, so neither one of us is really beating the other one. Although I do think her second box was slightly better than my first one. All right, so let's start with these four packs. 
Let's make these piles here a little bit neater just so we don't have any, uh, any avalanches. Next pack, Fairy Mechanist. Nice little cat token. All right, Commons, Mechanist, Magnifying Glass. Feel like we're working under a magnifying glass right now. Naturalist. Chromatic Star. I love that card. That nice rainbow art. All right. First commons. Uncommons, rather. Weapons Trainer. Vampire Hex Mage. Thirst for Knowledge. Galvanic Blast. First Rare. Tuck Tuck Scrapper. That one is a turd that they tried to polish up and put in this set. And a Sword of War and Peace. That is very nice. Not the box topper like the other ones, but we're not going to complain about a foil sword. First box topper, Brainstorm. Oh, and a Jace the Mind Sculptor. All right. Right there, we're talking about another high-end box topper. So we have a Force of Will and a Jace. So we are doing incredibly well here. And some nice foil basics. So I'm not going to lie. After opening this case and after we're done recording and taking care of all this, I am probably going to go order another case. If any case looks as remotely good as this one, I will be very happy. That, uh, that nice box topper Jace is probably going in modern, modern blue-white control that's currently going to be sleeved up in my bedroom. There's some more worm tokens. And we're getting some nice Tron foils here while we're along the way. That Elf Warrior is fantastic. I love that token. And we start with the Sift. Okay, commons are out. Start with a Vampire Hex Mage. Into a Thopter Foundry. Throne of Geth. Flicker Wisp. Galvanic Blast. And our first rare is a Heat Shimmer. Followed up. Leaves of the Tangle. First box topper. Crop Rotation. And our second topper, Atraxa. There's another Mythic. And like I said, that's what you want to see. You want to see the Mythics, because that's where the money is for the most part. All right, these foil lands. Ooh, that one we got two unhinged foils. Nice. All right, so two packs into this box. We got three Mythics already. A nice little brainstorm peeking out there. It's a good way to start the pack. Plant and an elemental. Those elemental tokens actually used to be expensive, the ones that were the, uh, the old Voice of Resurgence ones. But now they've been reprinted a couple times. All right. Metallic Rebuke, Ancient Stirrings, Oriox Salvagers. All right, start the Uncommons. Bloodshot Trainee, Fatal Push, Pendad Prism. 
any of those cards that have those nice rainbow effects all look incredible in foil. Abulet, and our first rare is going to be a Cascade Bluffs. Let's see what we got hiding behind here. Second rare, Oblivion Stone. First box topper, Urza's Tower. And our second topper, Fatal Push. So, out of all of these packs that we've opened so far, I think this is actually, it might be our first stinker. I mean, Urza's Tower is 20 or 30 bucks. Fatal Push is maybe 20 bucks. That was actually probably one of our worst ones. So, and even then, it's not awful. So we can't complain too much. Like I said, with the luck we've been having with some of these other packs, I'm really not complaining at this point. Just shows you how good these packs really can be. We got one more pack here in this box. Servo and a Thraben Inspector. All right, so that last pack, if you want to call that our stinker, that means we should be in. We should be due for another good one here. Tokens out of here. Commons, the Raven Inspector, Lightning Axe, Hers is mine. Hidden Stockpile, that's our first uncommon. Pognify, Core Tapper, Hulk. Unlicensed Disintegration. And our first foil. First rare in the pack, rather, is a foil Mana Reflections. Followed up by a Wooden Bastion. Alright, box topper number one. Academy Ruins. And do we get a Mythic slot? It's rare. Yep, another Toxic Deluge. Alright. That art is super sweet. Okay, so that is it for this box. Got whoop, two more foil on Hinge Lands. I will take all of those because I was going to buy some of those anyway, regardless of whatever I opened here. All right, so we got one more box here to go. Four more packs. All right, let's open this one up. There we go. So we got one, two, three, four. And we got another servo. Merit Leash, that is a sweet token. Not that it's worth anything, but it is super cool to look at. Okay, Commons, Apprentice Wizard, a Braid, Acre Wellspring, Cast Down, and that's our Commons. Let's go to the Uncommons, Uvenwald Mysteries. Another Thopter Foundry, Rex Sage, Champion, and our first rare is a Council's Judgment. What's our second rare? Calio the Vast. This one is a Pack Foil. Bot first box topper is a Meddling Mage. 
followed up by an Urza's Tower. That's it. Those, so those are our first two toppers there. Let's get those lands to the side. Next pack. So from in my estimation, from what I've been seeing out of these box openings, it looks like on average per box of these four packs, one of the four is usually the stinker. The other three are usually pretty good or at least making your money back, but on average it appears to be one in four are your bad ones. Meddling Mage of which is your worst box topper, value wise. All right, so we are still on the hunt for a Mana Crypt or an Avacyn. We have two of the four big ones. We got a Force of Will and a Jace. We are still searching for that Avacyn and that Mana Crypt. So we have an Angel and a Servo token. All right, the commons. Layer Husk, Naturalist, another Expedition Map, and now let's put those down, let's go to the, uncom the Uncommons, Salvagers, Riddle Smith, Welding Jar, that is a nice reprint foil, that was a very expensive foil previously, Cranial Plating, okay, that's it for the Uncommons. Our first rare is a Thespian Stage. Second rare, Voice of Resurgence. Expedition Map, the first hopper. And an Urza's Power Plant. All right, so we're gonna go to the next box here. I think her luck is worn out, so we're gonna do one last swap here for these last couple packs, and I'm gonna do these last two. token and a steel sabotage all right the commons brainstorm mirror retriever peace strider the Uncommons, Veteran Explorer, Hexmage, Ash Barons. Our first rare is an Open the Vaults, followed up by a Vexing Shusher. First topper, Stone Forge Mystic. That is a nice rare. And the next slot, Sword of Light and Shadow. That actually will complete our sword cycle here, I believe. Oh no, we're missing a body of mind. We did not get a body of mind. But we have two Feast and Famines, the Fire and Ice, and the War and Peace. So we have had a bunch of swords here. We were just missing the body and mind, which I'm not overly concerned with, because the body and mind is actually the cheapest of the four swords. So, let's go. We got one last pack here. Let's see if we can pull through with a nice pack here to round us out. The final. 15 are down. One is left. Monitor. And a germ token. Let's cross our fingers here. Let's go out with a bang. All right, the commons. Battle Rage. Kozilex Predator. And our first uncommon is a hinder. Used to be really good in Commander, but not so much anymore when they change the rules. 
throne of Geth. Flame Fiend. Our first rare is a champion of Lamholt. All right. Last couple. Next rare. Worm Coil Engine. That is a mythic. Our first box topper. Expedition map. Last chance. Last box topper. What do we got? Chrome Mox. That is not a bad one to end on. Chrome Mox is kind of settled down. I think it's in the middle of the pack. Maybe it's 80 bucks right now. 70, 80 bucks. Somewhere in that range. But not a high end, but still pretty good hit. All right. What do we got here? Our last couple of rares lands. We got an island. All right, so just a quick review here. We ended up with two Sword of Feast and Famine box toppers. We have a Sword of Fire and Ice box topper. We have a Sword of War and Teeth pack foil, two foil Force of Wills, Karn Liberated, Chrome Mox, and all of these other goodies. Now, that's going to be about it. We are all set here. If you want to see our next case, let me know. We're going to do... More, probably one more case. We'll see how it goes. Uh, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. All right. See you later. Bye.